I teach science. Uh, a lot of the courses I teach are a lot of outside stuff. So I um, teach a conservation course, a theology, environmental course, and I try to integrate a lot of outdoor things. Uh, it's four concrete walls is very hard to get kids to latch on. And a lot of stuff that I'm pushing is our courtyard and then also even out of the classroom into our side room where we're trying to get some local lettuce and stuff growing for uh, our school. I don't have to do a lot to sell it because the kids sell it. They talk among themselves and say, hey, they're serving our lettuce today. That is such an advantage. I can't buy that kind of marketing. For my classes that are going to help grow the lettuce, I, I, I kind of want to be a fly on the wall when they walk through the lunch line and see their lettuce that they grew on the plates. This is what you call that hyper local. They can go and look at that produce in the garden one day and then eat it the next. You got to sustain yourself. A big part of it is being able to grow it and make some money and reinvest it and keep going. So it's not just sustainable in terms of being local, but uh, teaching kids to being sustainable in terms of economics as well. And uh, doing that in a way that they can be a part of. In the courtyard, we have two greenhouses. We have ponds. We have kind of a nice area where people can come and just kind of hang out. We have native wildflowers, four planters boxes where we'll grow lettuce. We have a bunch of different fruit trees. So we have plum trees, apple trees, cherry trees, and pear trees out there. We have about 50 yards of strawberries, June bearing and ever bearing strawberries. We have raspberries, we have blueberries. We have a compost area back there. We've got a chicken coop coming up. So there's a lot going on. Just trying to make it an area where we can grow a lot of food that the kids can have a hand in helping do that. One of the big things that I'm trying to push is to show them how circular it is. So if we're growing the lettuce in the classroom and then we give it to the culinary class and they make a salad and then the stuff they don't use gets composted in our courtyard, that stuff turns back into a soil-like material. We use that to grow more lettuce. All of a sudden the kids start to see the entire cycle. I mean my goal by the time I'm done here is that we are providing enough food, whether that's lettuce, fruit, vegetables for the district. And so that's starting small with just the high school and, and trying to provide as much as possible and, and starting with just lettuce and some fruits and stuff like that. But eventually, if we can continue to, to grow, again, economically grow as well and reinvest into larger systems, we can just keep expanding and be able to support the district throughout the year.